dispatch to all cars. There are unidentified objects on the road. Who can get rid of them quickly? Foxtrot 1, we'll take it from here.
There's an explosive device on a coach on the motorway. All the passengers are in mortal danger. To all units, we must close the motorway and evacuate these people. You know, that's not all that far from here. But we haven't got the right vehicle for... Just the job for an evacuation, I'd say. You're not thinking of... Of course I am. Take your walkie-talkie. Could you please lend us your van? It's a matter of life and death. Oh, of course. But, but don't break anything. Of course we won't. Looks like we're evacuating the bus. It doesn't only look like it. Have you lost your mind? I'd better not answer that. I don't like this at all. But I suppose if the bomb threat is real, well, then you don't have any choice. Exactly. Keep us up to date if there are any difficulties. Will do. And you, keep the road free of all other traffic. Further cars are on their way to give you support. And what do we do now? Now, we're going to close in on the bus so you can get people over to us. Okay. We're nearly there! Don't be afraid! You'll make it! It's only a little jump. You can do it. Take my hand! Now, jump! Now stop on the hard shoulder. We've got to let these people out before we go back for more. Watch out! Surprise, surprise. And what's that? There are roadworks at Bioshower Kreuz. The bus can't get through there at that speed. And he can't get off the motorway either. Okay, we'll get a move on. Take my hand! Now, jump! Come on!
It's only a little jump. You can do it. Now stop on the hard shoulder. We've got to let these people out before we go back for more. What are you doing? Pull over! Watch it! Don't be afraid! You'll make it! Take my hand! Now, jump! Right next to the door, then we can get them out! Everything is supposed to be closed off. What are you guys doing up there? Sorry, we must have missed it, but now everything's clear. Then it's now or never. Come on! I've got to Slow down! Close one. Are you guys okay? We've been following everything on the radio the whole time. We're fine. We had it all under control. Did we? Didn't feel like it, I can tell you. But we made it. Nobody was hurt, except the bus, of course. Luckily for you, if you had damaged the borrowed car, you would have had to deal with a lot of paperwork. It probably has a few minor nicks anyway. I am sincerely sorry about that, and my office will of course take care of it. I'm just glad that nobody was seriously injured in this whole thing. Anyway, we have your own car for you here. Thank you. We certainly owe you one. No problem. And now try to relax a bit. We'll sort out the rest of this mess. So, the threat was real after all. Hang on, dispatch has got something. Calling Foxtrot 1. What's the situation? All 
the passengers were evacuated before the coach exploded. Have you got something? A suspect has been caught. He allegedly demanded a ransom. You did a great job. The fire brigade will do the rest. Understood. I wonder what he needed the money for. Anyway, he has real problems now. You can say that again. Anything exciting been happening? <laughs> What's that weird smell? That's probably me. We've had a fair amount of road sweeping to do lately. So the smell probably comes from both of you? I didn't even touch their stuff. Did you let your partner do all the unpleasant stuff again, huh? Nailed it. Every time he makes me do the dirty work. Is your partner as lazy as that? Or was it just my luck to draw the short straw with Stefan's name on it? No, Jan is a fantastic partner. Anything we tackle, we tackle together. Doesn't make any difference how unpleasant the task is. There you are. Why don't you follow their example? Because I'm busy teaching you. He's not wrong, you know. I don't know how good a teacher Stefan is, but if he's anywhere near as good as Jan, you can learn a lot from him. All right, all right. I'll carry on doing the dirty work. Hey! What's up? You two are weird. You know that. That's a nice way to say hello. I suppose you want some details, do you? Of Course I do. I was listening in the whole time to how you two managed to get all those people off that bus while it was belting along the motorway. The real Hollywood stuff. Come on. Everybody would have done the same. Listen to him. All cool. Fact is, he was shaking in his boots during the entire operation. We're not all like you, you know. Hey, take it easy, will you? I think this whole thing has really got to you. Yeah, rather you than me, that's all I can say. And then the bomb went off. Luckily enough, there were no passengers left inside. Know something? That was more than cool, you two. You're real heroes. You're exaggerating. We were just in the right place at the right time, and we were just doing our job. Speaking of which, I think it's about time we thought about... Got anything new for us? Have you gone completely out of your mind? Oh dear. What have we done now? Are you talking about... The bus? Of course I'm talking about the bus. What else? All we thought about were the innocent people on that bus. We couldn't just stand by and do nothing. And I'm pretty sure they'll regard you as heroes. But I don't want any heroes in my station. I want colleagues with an appropriate sense of responsibility. I trust you know the difference. Yes, I understood that clearly. But that doesn't change my opinion. All the same, you have absolutely no right to behave in such an irresponsible manner. This is not a stunt show, you know, or a Hollywood film set. Yes, I know. That applies to you too, Berninger. You've also been rather conspicuous lately. But probably only since I've had a new partner. There are some things I just can't prevent. Actually, I had hoped that you would slow him down a bit. Instead of that, you let him get you going as well. I'm sorry, I'm afraid you expected too much of me. I'm not a magician. Of course not. Nonetheless, you're going to have to pull your socks up and do things by the book. I hope you realize that the only reason I'm letting you off this time is because you saved so many lives. Now don't go resting on your laurels, do you hear? And for heaven's sake, be careful. Understood, sir. 
I should hope so, too. Now get out of here. 